Sean Park here with Reliant Cake. Woo! Hi. Hey. Woo! What's up? This is exciting. Woo. You you just. This is where the party is. I mean, you just started it off with a big yeah, woo. That's great. Now we've set the mood. This it's is a party, by the way, in case you weren't savvy to that. <laughs> so uh, we're curious. You're named after a car, right? Yeah. What was so special about the K car that you wanted to name your band after it? Well, uh, Matt over here got a hand-me-down Reliant K car. It was a 1989? 88? 88. 88. And uh, basically, uh, me and, and our group of friends would just ridicule Matt about how lousy his car was. And it became somewhat iconic amongst our group of friends. And uh, so just, uh, I guess as an inside joke, we decided to name our band after this Reliant K car, basically. I think foreshadowing the fact that we were just always going to be kind of crappy. So, there, here we are. Uh, God's Word is a strong foundation that we can build our lives on. What has God's Word meant in your life as far as giving you a rock to depend on? Well, I think, uh, you know, you're talking about building a house on the rock or the sand or whatever. And I mean, a lot of times people are like, oh, you know, I need to, to build my spiritual life and my the rest of my life on this rock. And that is going to church and doing the right things and all this stuff. But it's it's completely, that's, that's a bunch of, you know, crap. Because it's like, it's all about the deeper, like, you're talking about a foundation here. It goes below the soil. It's like... Uh, you kind of need to figure out why you believe what you believe. You kind of need to figure out if you believe that, you know, how the world was created is how, you know, certain people are telling you. And you kind of ought to figure out the very start, the basis, the foundation of what you believe in before you can start building on that. And I feel like people start at like, oh, this is what my mom told me, or this is what I grew up knowing, and so this is what I'm going to build off of. But unless you make it your own, unless you go down a little bit deeper into yourself, um, you know, it's all going to fall apart in the end because it wasn't yours. And, uh, you know, that's happened to me. Like, I, I grew up at church. I never wanted to go. But I was just like, oh, I'll believe it because my parents tell me to. And then, you know, like, eventually you got to kind of figure it out for yourself. And I feel like that's kind of the foundation, that personal, you know, this is me and God talking here. This is us figuring things out, like what's going on. And uh, that's, a, that's a true foundation that's really building, building your life around that rock. All right, everybody, it's time for our speed round. Guys, put your hands on your buzzers. I ain't got no buzzer. I've got one in my, in, okay. implanted in my oh, knee. Oh, dude, actually. you have a buzzer in your knee. I forgot about it. Yeah. It's implanted. He's had one for a couple years now. Just for situations like mm, this. Yeah. Great. Well, use his buzzer if you'd like, and here we go. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> All right. Is that, is that how you hit on girls? That's how I hit on Matt. Oh. <laughs> what? Which is something that needs to happen every day. Just kidding. Uh, buzz, 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 buzz. All right. Fantastic. Here we go. Question number one. Who loses the most stuff? Uh, it's me. Yeah. Who is the mom in the group? Hoops. Hoops. Papa Hoops. Yep. If your airplane crashed in the Arctic, who would you snuggle with first in the band? Papa Hoops. Oh, man. Warren is pretty soft. Yeah, but you, <laughs> this thing isn't trimmed up. It's got a nice little cove. Yeah, it's true. Cove I just trimmed it in there. Nestle. If you could have a superhero power, what would it be? Um, you know, the the superhero power where you get to grant as many wishes for yourself as you want. That sort of thing. I think that's a pretty, super superhero power. Well, I mean, it's like obviously you're a genie of some sort, but like, I mean, you're pretty much golden at that point because then you can just be like, yeah, I wish I could fly, or I wish I could shoot lasers out of my. I think it pretty much encompasses all the superpowers. Finally, do you regret doing this interview? True or false? That's that's not a, a statement. It yeah, that's a, a really weird. It's actually, actually our I passed your test. Is that a true question or a false question? Is that what you're asking? I, I can't even. <laughs> hey, this is Reliant K. To find out more about them, go to tv1life.com. Yes. Thanks, guys. Of course.